Take a look around this kitchen. What do you see? You can see the stove, sink, plates, towels, and more. What are these things made of? Most things you see are made of metals and non-metals. Click on the objects to find out which are metals and which are non-metals. The forks and spoons are made of metal. The wooden ladles are made of non-metal. In this unit, you are going to learn about metals and non-metals. Metal and oxygen. Take a look at this new decorative brass spoon. The color is a shiny reddish gold. What will happen if we leave the spoon over a year? Click on the time button to see. Brass is an example of a metal. It is a zinc and copper alloy. Most metals do not naturally exist as elements. This is because metals are reactive. Metals such as zinc and copper react with oxygen to form compounds called metal oxides. Examples of metal oxides that are found in the Earth's crust are bauxite, hematite. And cassiterite. Now let's observe the reaction between metals with oxygen. How do metals react with oxygen? What happens during the reaction? Do different metals react with oxygen at different rates? Click on the first metal, magnesium. Yes, the magnesium burned very quickly with a brilliant bright flame. Then a white solid is formed. Click on the next metal, zinc. The zinc burnt fast with a bluish green flame. Yellow powder is formed when hot, which slowly changes into white when cooled. Click on the next metal, iron. The iron burnt fast with a bright yellow flame. Then a black solid is formed. Let's see all the results together. What can we conclude about the reaction of different metals with oxygen? Click on Conclusion to hear an explanation. From this activity, we can conclude that different metals react with oxygen at different rates. We have seen the reaction of metals with oxygen. Let's take an example. Magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Can you recall how to write word equations to describe the chemical reactions? Drag and drop the choices into its proper location.
That is correct. That is how we write equations in words to show the reaction of metals with oxygen. So, why did the brass spoon change color over time? Brass is a copper and zinc alloy. Both metals react with oxygen in the air to form metal oxides. When this happens, the brass changes color. In the previous lesson, we observed the reactions between metals with oxygen and the products formed. Key in the correct answers for the reactions between metals and oxygen. Which of these are metals? Examples of metals are zinc, lead, iron, and aluminium. Examples of non-metals are graphite, sulfur, bromine, oxygen, and hydrogen. Metal reacts with oxygen to form metal oxide. Different metals react with oxygen at different rates. The reaction between metal and oxygen is shown in a word equation as metal plus oxygen produces metal oxide. Take a look at these bulbs. One is a normal light bulb, and the other is a halogen bulb. Click on the time button and observe what happens. Now, let's observe if metals react with sulfur. What happens during the reaction? Do different metals react with sulfur at different rates? Click on the first metal, magnesium. Yes, upon heating, the magnesium and sulfur mixture quickly reacted and changed color. At the end, a gray solid had formed. Now, click on the next metal, zinc. Yes, upon heating, the zinc and sulfur mixture reacted fast and changed color. At the end, a white solid had formed. Now, click on the next metal, iron. Yes, upon heating, the iron and sulfur mixture reacted fast and changed color. At the end, a black solid had formed. Let's take a look at the results. What can we conclude about the reaction of different metals with sulfur? Click on Conclusion to hear an explanation. From this activity, we can conclude that different metals react with sulfur at different rates.
We have seen the reaction of metals with sulfur. Magnesium reacts with sulfur to form magnesium sulfide. Can you write word equations to describe the? Well done. This is how we write equations in words to show the reaction of metals and sulfur. We have seen that metals react with sulfur to produce metal sulfides. We also know that metals react with oxygen to produce metal oxides. It is difficult to find metals in the form of elements. Metals react with other non-metals in the Earth's crust to form natural compounds. How does a halogen bulb last longer than a normal light bulb? The tungsten filament in a normal light bulb slowly evaporates every time electricity passes through it. After a while, parts of the filament get thinner. Eventually, a thin spot in the filament causes the filament to break, and the bulb burns out. In a halogen bulb, the tungsten filament also evaporates every time electricity passes through it. But a halogen bulb contains halogen gas. The evaporated tungsten metal reacts with the halogen gas to form tungsten halide. The tungsten halide then falls back onto the filament. This recycling process lets the filament last a lot longer. This is a great example of how reaction of metals with non-metals can be used in our everyday life. In the previous lesson, we observed the reactions between metals and sulfur. And the products formed. Key in the correct answers for the reactions between metals and sulfur. Click on what, which, in the previous lesson, which of the following shows the correct word equations? When a mixture of iron and a Metals react with sulfur to form metal sulfide. Different metals react with sulfur at different rates. The reaction between metal and sulfur is shown in a word equation as metal plus sulfur produces metal sulfide. Which of the following statements? Click on one of the questions. Which of the following? Click on one of the questions to see the answer. A metal is an element with a shiny surface. It is also malleable and. Metals combine readily with non-metals to form stable compounds. 
Metals react with oxygen to form compounds called metal oxides. Metals react with sulfur to form compounds called metal sulfides. We use word equations to describe the reaction between metals and nonmetals. Below is how we write word equations to describe the reaction between metals and oxygen and metals with sulfur. Do different metals react at different rates with nonmetals? We can observe that different metals react at different rates with oxygen. Press next to continue. We can observe that different metals react at different rates with sulfur. Therefore, different metals react with nonmetals at different rates. Rust is the common name for iron oxide. Iron combines readily with oxygen from the air. That is why pure iron is rarely found in nature. Find out more about this phenomenon and answer the following questions. How is rust formed? What is corrosion? How is rust removed? Share your findings with the class. It is always fun to see firework displays on Merdeka Day. What ingredients make fireworks? What makes them explode with so many colors? Your task is to discover the chemistry of fireworks and answer the following. When were fireworks invented? What are the ingredients used in making fireworks? What chemical compounds are responsible for the colors seen in fireworks?